Right. Hi guys, so today myself and Molly are at the Kent Owl Academy, she runs it here and we're doing some uh, photography and video, some slow motion video stuff like that for her. Um, John is joining me, so turn around John's there. And uh, off we go. So the Kent Owl Academy is actually based at a place called Kent Life, which is just off the M20 uh, and near Maidstone uh, in Kent. Uh, really worth visiting anyway, uh, just for a day out. Also, you've got the Owl Academy and everything there as well, which is really, really good for experience days and things like that. So check them out. Okay, three, two, one. So as you can see here, we've got the point of view glasses on. Um, they've got a video camera, high definition, in between your eyes, and it allows the hand, well, it allows you to get a view of what the handler is seeing. Um, as you can see, they're looking down at my camera at the minute just to see what the photos were like that we got. Um, actually turned out lovely day, absolutely perfect, but we're shooting under the trees, so you've got a lot of shaded and then bright light um, areas, which actually does work out quite nicely, but what it does do, it gives all of the cameras, doesn't matter if you're using the A9, the RX10 Mark IV, or the A7R 3 a real challenge to focus and stay on focus with the, um, the owls in flight. And as you can see there, they come very quickly, they're not exactly moving slowly, so you know, it really it goes a challenge and it was also a learning experience because I've not really photographed um, set, sort of staged um, photos so of, of uh, animals in flight normally it's just an animal you see out in the wild and you manage to capture it or you know it's just a, a lucky shot or whatever so it's just a case of we were learning how how and when and uh, and which way the birds might fly because um, they were different every single time as you can see here some of the shots here are from the RX10 Mark IV as you can see it's quite shaded in there um, and this is where I'm shooting at 600mm f4. I actually really like these shots. Um, they kind of give it a more natural feel. And as you can see how, how the autofocus is working right to the edge of the frame and still tracking the owl in flight. And as you can see another next shot as well um, is, is even sort of further afield as such. And it's still hooked onto it. Um, which is really impressive. Obviously didn't make the best photo. But, um, you know... Um, and then obviously into the a7r3 uh, different league different type of camera but as you can see here 135 wide open at f1.8 so we've got tons more light much faster shutter speeds um, keep the ISO as low as well and beautiful background that's blurred out obviously I'm standing quite a bit closer uh, this shot here as well in the shade this is stopped down to f2.8 because it really really makes the uh, bokeh balls really circular um, and really gets rid of that sort of oval shape so it makes a much smoother smoother image also gets a little bit more in focus for the bird right moving on to John's John's got the a9 so he was spoilt really um, fastest focusing camera obviously out there um, with 100 or 400 millimeter Sony lens on uh, the RX10 Mark IV has obviously got the a9 AF chip in it so both of those cameras were working really really well and it did really make me notice the a7R 3 was struggling a little bit but in the camera's defense I was shooting much wider uh, apertures so I was shooting like f1.8 f2.8 where um, the RX10 Mark IV was shooting f4 or the a9 he was shooting f5.6 something like that so hit rate was going to be better for the um, the stop down lenses anyway so but really impressed with all the shots we got uh, I think John liked the ones he got. Definitely a learning experience for him, which was really good. Um, and then the day continued. Come in and say hello. Hello. Hello, <laughs> guys. And that's a tawny owl. owl. Right. I've got to learn my owls. <laughs> oh, we'll make sure you know. Oh, I don't. I'll know everything by tonight. Uh, by the evening. If you can just take a shot, John, I'm just going to be behind the scenes. So some of the shots I was shooting natural light and some we were just filling in slightly with um, flash. Just to balance that background, because that background is very bright. So bringing in a little bit of extra light to um, just light the owls, especially the static ones here. And uh, just to really add a little bit of, just help the colour come out on them and everything like that. And obviously bring their eyes out a little bit more. So uh, just a wireless flash gun set back about 8 to 10 feet. Um, as you can see there, you can see a little bit of uh, light bouncing in the eyes. 
um, shooting wide open on this one, um, but through a load of stinging nettles and everything as well. So it kind of adds a bit of depth and sharpness to the eyes, but everything else softens off. Um, and then we were told that it was a, um, a blue tits nest um, in a wall. And uh, so we monitored that. This one, some of John's shots, um, it was in, they were very fast, really, really fast. Um, so John got some really, really cool shots here. Um, and uh, the light was sun. We got there roughly the right time. The sun was on on the nest hole as such, so they were they were lit nicely. And 25 minutes later, it had gone. Well, I managed to get the Rotolite Aos to the left of this, um, and uh, did some 500 frames per second slow motion as it left the nest, obviously emptying the rubbish out. Um, just a little bit of extra light there, and it took him a little while to actually um, sort of trust it because obviously it's something new, um, but it worked really well. Um, here we go. So. Uh, Back to some different owls. Um, this one was, I mean, I can't, I can't remember the name, but I'm going to get, Molly's going to moan at me. But that one was like, it was almost like it wasn't real. Um, this is, I think, the Goshawk. I'm probably going to get this wrong as well. Um, the hybrid one. Um, amazing, beautiful birds, all of them. Um, and they're just the detail of their feathers. Um, and even their translucent, I can't remember that either, the translucent um, sort of eyelid that protects their eyes. As you can see here, one's closed, one's open. Um, and uh, just when you when you can get as close as you can, um, and they're not that bothered by you, it's so lovely to be able to appreciate how stunning these animals are. And um, we had a brilliant day, um, and a real pleasure to actually do do some photos for uh, for Molly and the team. Um, it was just brilliant. I mean, they're absolutely. I mean, I was blown away by how brilliant they are with the animals. Um, obviously it didn't always go to plan they didn't always necessarily fly exactly where we wanted them to fly but um, they were brilliant absolutely brilliant so if you want a, a um, experience day uh, for photography or just to go and have an experience of um, having um, you know flying a barn owl or whatever they do that so I'll put the website address and everything in the in the uh, description below and um, you know absolutely brilliant in the background. <laughs> uh, they're fast, aren't they? They're blackbirds. Because it's sort of nesting season, the blackbirds are all over the place, so the um, birds of prey were literally going a bit nuts. Um, the blackbirds are pushing their luck. Anyway, um, these are more of John's shots. Um, really happy, he got some photos um, that he was really pleased with. Uh, some of these shots are absolutely beautiful, and I'm a little bit gutted. Some of them here are much better than mine. Um, Really, really cool. The A9 is obviously a complete beast. Um, absolutely wicked for sort of sports and wildlife and things like that. And it doesn't disappoint, especially some of the, the in-flight shots. Um, absolutely awesome. The colours and everything it was rendering, I couldn't see any difference between this, to be honest, with the A9 and the A7R3. Um, I think definitely we agreed that we had a really good day. And um, it's just nice to someone to come along and assist me. And also, I don't mind... Um, people jumping in and, and, and working as well um, to get the shots and um, we had a really really good day so I'm really pleased that John came along um, it's part of my Facebook group so it was really nice to actually meet up with other people you don't necessarily know, uh, you, know uh, you know face to face normally um, I mean this shot here is awesome um, and then he obviously he decided to snap some shots that I didn't even know he'd taken of me actually down on the ground with a snake there. So in part two, you're going to see um, a load of different animals as well. More more flights, more owls, but obviously things like snakes um, and other things as well. So watch part two when that comes soon, um, or if it's up already. And uh, don't forget to push the subscribe button. Please push the notification bell, and I shall speak to you soon.